Those of you with a slide tray might be wondering what your, these two things are and uh, the ruler. This lines up directly with your blade. This double zero, this is your black line, it lines up directly with your blade. You have 10 inches on each side, exactly 10 inches, giving you a 20 inch surface. Then you have your triangles, used for 45s in a variety of different cuts. It can be used to lock your material in place like so, like you see here. It can be used to do your 45s. In which case you'll want to use, you'll want to lock your corner up to your double zero. Like so. So you can do your 45 cuts. Okay, when you're cutting an angle, you're going to have a flat blade hitting an uneven surface. So you want to go slow at the beginning as if you go too fast, the blade's going to want to walk down the material just a little bit, but it's not going to ensure straight cut. So keep that in mind when you're driving the material in. Be subtle it in the beginning, like so. You can also use your finger to guide the blade to make sure it doesn't walk down, or where you just have a little insertion cut, like so. And then you're golden. You want to let the blade do the cutting. Just keep a minimal amount of pressure. I'm not pushing that hard. It's the most important part. Go slow at the end. We got a real little slim edge right there. All right, perfect. And that is how you cut a perfect 45, pretty much effortlessly.